All right, so now I'm at one of the DP48s. Um, and if I want to look at the signals um, on this DP48, um, I can just go to uh, any one of the groups. So if, let's say I want to assign something to the drum group. If I hit drums, and then now I hit assign. So this is how I pick what is in this drum group. Um, so if I use this selector encoder here, and I scroll through each signal, you can see that it's changing the name. That name is what the signal source was named back on the console itself. So anything that is blue right now is being in this drum group. Um, so you see this one's got a PCDI signal. Uh, this is probably used for a click or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but the, to deselect something, I basically click it. Uh, that's deselected. Uh, if I want to add something to this group, like let's say I want to add that PCDI back, I click it again. Now it shows up in blue. Uh, if I want to stereo assign something, I click it and I hold. Now it's like a lighter blue. Um, and I can tell that that channel is stereo assigned to this group. Um, so that's where those names come from. Those come from, from the signals over the AS50 from the wing. Um, and that's how I assign something to a different group. Um, is by coming in here and selecting. So let's go to the next one. Uh, group two is bass. So if I scroll over, uh, the bass is on right now. Um, if I go to three and scroll over, you can see guitar one is, is, um, is showing up. Now, if I actually had sources coming to the DP48 now, these would be red inside of the boxes. And then you could see what signals um, you're actually getting. And then it also, while I'm in this assign group, uh, you can see the little S comes up right here. It's kind of hard to see on the screen. There's a little S right here. That means it's soloed. So it actually is soloing these channels in your ears while you're listening. So you can go through and individually listen to each channel. Um, so that's how you, that's where the name comes from. And that's how you basically assign something to a group. Now let's say, um, like for the, the keys, for example, I know we've been having issue with the keys a lot. Uh, if I go to the keys, I can see that key one and key two is both assigned stereo. Um, but let's say the level of one of these keys needs to be adjusted versus the other one. If I ju adjust the master volume down here of the group that, that adjusts them both together, not each one individually. So if I want to individually adjust a group volume, so I select what group I want, which is, this is the keys. Now if I hit edit, and I scroll over with these, like here's key one, here's key two. Now I can adjust the individual level of key one and key two. So let's say key two is too loud. I can basically adjust the dB down of key two. So now key one is negative seven dB. And key two is negative 21 dB. Uh, so that's how you can individually adjust the level versus uh, one instrument versus the other in a group. They may want to do that for the drums as well. If you want to come in to the drum group and hit edit, now I can scroll through. Let's say there's too much overhead, too much cymbals. You can come over and I can adjust individually the level um, of the overheads inside of that group. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see here, guys. 